Hi, it's Mike at 18 Reasons. Uh, today, we're going to get cooking pretty quick here. We have a wonderful class at 18 Reasons called Basic Knife Skills. Um, we've taught it for years. We teach it usually twice a month. And it's an introduction to the use of a knife where we go through and we cut a whole bunch of vegetables uh, and we learn how to use a knife, how to keep a knife sharp, the various kinds of knives. It's, it's an, a great introduction to knives. Um, throughout the course of the class, uh, students cut cabbage and carrots and celery and they cut herbs and make garlic into paste and throughout the class a student will build a bowl of salad in front of them and at the end of class we add some things to that salad and that is the meal for the uh, class at the end of class uh, the last thing we cut always is an onion because you have to learn to cut onions in a knife skills class. The problem is the onion doesn't really go in the salad. So we give each student a compostable sandwich bag and they get to take their diced and sliced onions home with them. Inevitably, I will be asked Chef, what would you do with this bag of onions? And for many years, my favorite answer is, I think I'd make a patty melt. I love patty melts. So, that's what we're doing today. I have a pan with diced and sliced onions. A little butter. I gave it a sprinkle of salt. And I'm just going to cook it until it caramelizes. And by the way, onions are a good chance to practice your flippy flippy thing. I don't need to have a wooden spoon to move those onions around. I just need to practice that flip move. Um, as a line cook, Line cooks almost never have a wooden spoon or a heatproof spatula. They usually flip the food in the pan with that motion. It it helps get dates and it looks impressive and it passes the time. And it saves on a dish. So flippy flippy. The idea is you push the food away and just before it creeps over the edge, you pull it back. That not only redistributes the food, it also changes the orientation so new food is touching the hot pan. Over here, I've got some lovely rye bread. Anytime I'm making a grilled cheese style sandwich, I like to use a melty cheese. In this case, I have a nice pepper jack, which will melt wonderfully. And then I like a second cheese for flavor. So I'm going to add some freshly grated sharp cheddar cheese over the top of this buttered bread. And you begin by making effectively a grilled cheese sandwich. Back to the flippy flippy thing. We'll cook that. And I have already cooked off some hamburger patties. Um, the hamburger won't cook once it's inside of the sandwich, so you have to cook them ahead. 
in the interest of time, I'm going to say those onions are about done. So we're going to add a layer of sautéed onions onto my grilled cheese. Not much in the world better than a sautéed onion. We'll add a nice hamburger patty to the top. Okay, okay so once you have the bread toasted and the cheese all melty melty, flip it over. Oh, oh yes. Life is very good. There we go. Yum. I'll get a second round going here in a minute. But first things first. Love a good patty milk. There we go. This is Mike at 18 Reasons. Let's cook together.